It's a night for survivors, warriors, caregivers, and those no longer with us. The annual Relay for Life of Yellowstone County took center stage tonight in the Magic City, an event that began with the emotional survivor lap and will end with a fireworks bang at 1045. Our very own David Jay was out at the West High track where survivors and organizers told him why this night is so special. Cancer survivors take their lap around the track. I think the survivor lap is extremely important to show that you're persevering through cancer and you have all the support of the community during that time. Faith does definitely help you through this. It is a celebration and it also kind of makes it real. Sometimes you don't feel like it's actually happening. Yeah, so it is, it's emotional. I feel I'm part of this awesome club, you know. <laughs> A club we didn't want to be a part of, but we are. We're bonded for life now. And we have to help each other. We caught up with cancer survivor and former Q2 chief forecaster Bob McGuire. I remember I talked with one guy and uh, that first year. He says, well, this is my ninth lot. Man, I can't even imagine doing nine of these. And now here I am in my 16th. <laughs> and then how special is that? It's a big deal for me because when I was laid up in a hospital and I knew that I had cancer, all I wanted to do was survive long enough, live long enough to walk around that track and enjoy the survival lap with the other people who have survived cancer. Just one thing happening here at the West High Track, that's the survivor lap. Not as many people there, not as many people in general at the event, but for everybody, they say they still feel that bonding and camaraderie connection here at Relay for Life. There's the still a vibe, there's still the charge of being out here supporting everybody. Yeah, that's still, you can still feel that. It's special all the way around. You know your friends and family and co-workers are sitting around at home watching and cheering you on and praying for you. And God might bring us a rainbow too before this is out, so it's awesome. We're hoping that what we're doing today and raising the money here will help maybe somebody else in the future when they come down with cancer and maybe we'll be able to either knock it out or give them a really good treatment for it. In Billings, David J, MTN News. The goal this year was $400,000. Preliminary numbers show they're already at nearly $530,000.